we will be installing studs into a fat bike mountain bike tire. These are just the cheap uh, eBay specials, the cheapest ones you can get. I got a uh, part of the tire done already. I'm going to show you how I uh, put these in here. I'm doing one tire like this and the other tire I done. It's going to, I actually put silicone to try to help hold them in place. So we'll see if the silicone helps at all or not. We'll test it both ways. If you just want a tire for winter, it's a lot easier to just uh, buy one that's made for studs. This is a real pain in the butt, but I want a lightweight, fast tire for racing. And this is a better option, I think, than anything out there for a winter studded tire. We'll see how it goes. I'm waiting for uh, my solder and iron to heat up. I just plugged it in. I'll show you what we're working with here. Basically, you take a screw like this, start grinding it down till you get the shape you want it. I'm starting to find the smaller that you make this, the better it works so you don't make the hole too big. Basically, basically, you put it in the hole, let it get hot so it slowly melts down into the hole, and then turn it so you make a little area for this to sit in. Ah, don't hit my leg, that would be hot. Well, I don't know if my siren iron is quite hot enough yet. Um, this one here, got this one at Radio Shack. It's a 15 watt. If you can find one that's a little bit hotter, I would definitely recommend it. This one takes a little bit while to melt it. I'm putting the pointed part in first to try to st just start a small hole. As you can see, this takes a little bit to start melting it. It's not a very fast process. After it starts sinking into the tire, I straighten the soldering iron out. Put some downforce on it. I can smell the plastic starting to melt. I'm just waiting for it to sink in a little bit farther, go a little bit farther into the tire. And I slowly start turning it. And it's making a channel in there for the stud to sit. You can really feel if it's melted the plastic, actually the rubber yet or not can't go too fast at this it's kind of hard to do holding the camera and trying to work the solder and iron at the same time I've got about all the way around now I'll just move it back and forth a few times I'll sit the solder and iron down. And I usually have my uh, stud all ready to go. Put in about a 45 degree angle and uh, push real hard. Wiggle it around so it gets seated good. Can't go a whole lot deeper than that stud. That's a uh, that studs on. The rubber is not very thick right there to put the stud in much deeper. But this one here has a lot more to work with, so we'll do that one next. And one more. I 
I'm putting uh, 250 in this tire. Probably takes a couple hours per tire. It's not a, <laughs> as I said, it's not a fast process. I can see where I got the, where I have the screw on the top up here. I know how the piece is aligned in there, making my channel. So I always put it in and take it out the same way. You're better off not taking enough out the first time. You can always go back in and do it some more. Well, that's all it's to it. If you have any questions, let me know. And please subscribe for more.